All right, who's got one for Bryce? All right, thank you for coming. Bryce asked Roy about Louisville's guards and trying to defend them and how what it's like for the big guys to come out on some of those high screens. Are they a bigger challenge than some teams? And, and how uh, makes it be better? Yeah, you say that. Mm -hmm. They always emphasize with, especially those guards, that the ball is a problem. They don't really look for the role guy as much as some teams do. I mean, a lot of teams, they really, when they set up pick and roll, they're kind of looking for the role guy, see if you'll help off and maybe someone else will be open. But, I mean, those guys really look to attack. And Rozier and Chris Jones do a great job of doing that. I mean, if you don't hedge out the, the right way, then they, they're right on your hip, and then all of a sudden they score. So, I mean, they do a pretty good job of doing that. I mean, like, like I just said, the coaches always emphasize that the ball is a problem, especially those two. So you have to show longer and stick with that hedge? Yeah, just got to do what you're supposed to do. I mean, just... You try not to stick this, stay out there as long as too long, but I mean, sometimes too long is good because I mean they don't. Like I said, they don't go into the role guys much. They don't really look for them. In what ways have you guys kind of grown up as a team these past six games? Uh, I mean, we've, we've grown and then we've gone backwards in some aspects. I mean, we've really done some great things, like you said. I mean, we've been boxing out well, and I mean, we're, I think we're leading the nation, like one of the some category in the offensive rebounds, I guess. I mean, doing a great job of attacking the glass and I mean on the defense and then we're getting a lot of stops and it was just just come together as a team, I'd say. And all aspects I mean, we've really grown together. I mean even in the tough games, I mean some games were blowouts, but at the end of the day we did have a lot more of the close games and we were in the tough those on good wins. Does it feel like you guys are kinda of starting to find your rhythm and click a little bit maybe more than in December or November? Yeah, I mean we we really are starting to figure out what we need to do. I mean, wish we didn't have as many injuries as we do, I mean, but we have to live with that right now. So I mean, we just have to keep doing what we've been doing. I mean, when those guys get back, I mean, it's just be able to feel right into what we've been doing so far. How about you individually? The six-game stretch. Where do you think? How do you think you've come along? Uh, come along a, gr a great deal. You know, playing a lot better than the defensive end, and I mean, getting to the offensive glass a lot more than I usually do. I mean. I don't touch it as much in the post, but I mean, I still am able to get get the ball somehow and be able to get shots. So, I mean, just have to keep playing the way I have been playing. I mean, we go as far as we want. I mean, cause my team really needs me to be the player that I have been playing like, and I mean, just it just feels good to be able to be playing the way I am. Do you find that you've been more efficient when you had the ball when you? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize until after the game I didn't miss a shot last game. So, I mean, it's. It's a lot of fun, like I said, it's just it's fun to just be able to go out there and lose myself in the game and be able to help my team win. Bryce, you've had five double doubles this year, four since the last time you played Louisville. What's been the key on that end? Coach always talks about you diving on the floor and being some of your better plays. Is it the effort level? Uh, yeah, it's just not staying on box outs. I mean, just be able to get the rebound because I am a great rebounder. It's just sometimes I, I might get lazy and let somebody box me out. I mean, if I just push somebody out the way or try and use my abilities to jump higher than they do. I can just get the rebound whenever I want. So it just just me just knowing what I need to do and just go, actually going out there and doing it. You mentioned the injuries. Have practices been tougher with so many guys out? Uh, not really. I mean, we just, we're trying to get healthy. I mean, we just, we're trying to do as much as we can with the people that we do have, but at the end of the day, we don't have as many guards. So I mean, and it, sometimes we end up putting three bigs in there and a little weird. I mean, it's starting to turn out like last year when we had a lot of bigs and not enough guards, but I mean, Coach has been really doing a great job of just trying to keep us together and just doing as much as you can with all the guards that we do have and trying to keep them as healthy as you can because I mean, we only have like four guards that are really healthy at the, at the moment. So I mean, we have to do as much as we can to get them as many reps as we can, but at the same time, we got to remember those are the only four guards that we do have, so we need them to play a, a great bit, a great deal of minutes in the game. Any chance of you playing the point? No. <laughs> he'll, he'll, put, uh, he'll put Marcus, uh, not Marcus, I mean Joel up there before he puts me up there, so he's been joking around with that, so um, I thought he'd put me at the point guard. Coach has talked a lot about this season, about asking more from the bigs and needing more from you guys. Has watching some of the front, the back guys go down and knowing that, they, that you guys do need to step out, is that it's part to you guys at all in the front court to give more effort or be more focused on anything like that? Uh, I mean, that was, just, that was just our emphasis for the entire year, even before those guys went down, because, I mean, 
a lot of times we started to play zone at the beginning of the year just to see how well of a shooting team that we were. And we just wanted to, me and Kennedy and the rest of the big guys, we wanted to be able to help out and really get us a low post presence when we did at the beginning of the year. So we had to shoot a great bit. And now that we've started to figure out that, I mean, like you said, with the injury, we started to figure out that we really do need us down there to be able to play big because I mean, we don't have as many guards. So, I mean, like I said, we need to play a lot of minutes. And, we do have to help them out on the offensive end with the scoring part too, because I mean they all had their nights, and I mean, some nights they, they don't make shots, and those nights that me and Kenny have to be able to step up and fill that void for them. You guys, have, this will be the second straight weekend you played a Saturday, Monday, like last Sunday after the Florida State game. Are you trying to stay off your feet at all, or you guys probably like playing games more than practicing? I would imagine too. I mean, I mean I'm kind of used to practicing. So I mean. We've been practicing for a while, so we're going to have practice anyways because, I mean, we do have to get ready for the next game, but we have to look forward to Saturday first before we look forward to Monday, so. Does that quick turnaround have any impact on you guys young enough that doesn't really I mean, hurt you? It does have an impact, but we are not going to let it have an impact. We just, at the end of the day, you still have to play. It's not like they're going to reschedule the game. It's not going to snow or anything, so, I mean, it's just, they're going to, we're going to end up playing, so we just have to be ready for it. You got to take care of your body on the day in between, and, just come to practice, and then after that, just don't do anything after that. Just be ready to play for on Monday. Bryce, this is the third time you've had that Saturday, Monday since the beginning of the year. At this point, are you guys kind of comfortable with it? You kind of know what to expect and how to take care of yourself in the Oh uh, Yeah, I mean, especially after this last one, where we had like four games in eight days. I mean, that was a pretty, pretty long stretch of us playing and practicing at the same time. So, I mean, we didn't really get off there in that, so I mean, we just – I mean, Jonas and Doug, they really stretch us out and do the recovery things that we really need to do to be able to stay fresh and be able to come out and not be sluggish in the next game after the first one. So we just have to do a great job individually and with those guys to be able to stay healthy and be able to, like I said, just keep playing. Does it help prep any for postseason? Because NCAA, of course, is every other day. Oh uh, Yeah, it does. I mean, it's, it's, like you just said, it's, just, it's the same thing. It's just every other day. I mean, just have to, on that day in between, just have to be able to take care of everybody, but at the same time, we have to prepare for the next one because it isn't the day after that. You guys neutralized, ne sorry, neutralized Montrez pretty well last time. What do you need to do to control him again this time around? Just do the same thing. I mean, just keep him off the offensive glass because, I mean, he's a great rebounder. Just, just be able to keep him off the glass and just make him use his, make him go to his weaknesses. Don't, don't let him use his strengths against us because, I mean, if he starts getting the offensive rebounds and getting blocks and dunks, I mean, he can really energize the team and he can really be a momentum changer for the for a whole game. So I mean, you just have to, that's, I just have to be able to box him out well and keep him off the glass. I mean, once he gets it down there, I mean, he's a great finisher around the room. The way the first Louisville game ended, did that give the team some confidence that you guys could win those type of games? Was there something there? Uh, I mean, we we all knew that we had a, some. Our chances of winning games like that is just the game before we didn't execute the way we should have, and I mean, they ended up beating us at the end. So, I mean, we executed the way we were, we were supposed to, and we knew it again, we ended up winning. So, I mean, there's it's no doubt in my mind that we knew that we'd win games like that. It's just we just had to execute before that, and we ended up winning. All right, thank you.